Hello everyone, welcome to part 25 of Resident Evil 4 Remake. This is the penultimate episode before everything becomes epic and crazy and the plot comes full circle. And we finally get Ashley back, damn it! Hopefully we can get Ashley back. I'm going to start this off right by buying the Killer 7 and the Rocket Launcher. We've come a long way, but we finally did it. We've got the most devastating weapons in the game. Which is why I'm trying to reorganize everything so that the stuff can fit. Come on, there we go. No, shit. I always run into this dilemma. It also doesn't help that knives actually take up space in this game. Welcome. Not my place to say, really, but sometimes things are more interesting if you keep a level playing field, don't you find? Honestly, this might be the only gun you need. Now we're slightly more overpowered than we were before. Now I don't need to say anything about the rocket launcher, because it's a fucking rocket launcher, it needs no explaining, but the Killer 7 actually takes Magnum bullets. And with that, you have to take extra caution because Magnum ammo comes kind of rare in this game. But the good thing is, you have a red dot sight for this weapon. So accuracy, or at least my full definition of accuracy, is much more improved than it was before. And 9 times out of 10, the Killer 7 actually kills people in 1-2 to two hits. Not enough cash, stranger. Your weapon, this kind of work, come back any time. Almost there. Ashley, I'm coming. Here's the last major fighting section in the game. I say major in quotes because this area has plenty of traps and brutes and gun turrets from before. But the next section before the final boss is nowhere near as intense as this one. It kind of serves as a build-up. And we all love that build-up before the major boss, you know, Death's Hallway from Castlevania. Just as long as the game doesn't freeze. The game tends to freeze on that part, so you gotta be careful. I'm talking about Castlevania, that is. Here's, here's the Killer 7 in action. God damn, that gun's sexy. I'm telling you, this gun just absolutely wastes enemies. In fact, I just use it for the small fry Ganados. Just merely for the satisfaction of blowing them away in one hit. And you don't have to worry as much about wasting bullets. Unless you just suck at aiming. And if that's the case and you really do suck at aiming, then how the hell do you even get this far into the game? Anyway, we got more Nefistadors who are not as spongy as the other enemies. In fact, they're probably the weakest enemies in the game. Still doesn't help that they fly all over the place though, but at least they're squishy. Rockets. Of course there'd be rockets. Unless I get a clear shot with the ultimate pistol, this part's gonna suck. Direct hit. You see how much better this weapon is compared to the other ones? And that is mainly because of the red dot sight. And you can get the red dot sight for the other pistols too, you just need more spinels and you can trade them off that way, but nah. The Killer 7 is really all you need. Just like the merchant says, it's the only pistol that you'll probably ever need. It's that damn good. I just wish there were more ammo for the weapon though. Ooh, can't go under there. And I've checked, the trip mines don't have the mine parts that you can shoot. It's just a whole bunch of red laser. Oh, get out of here. And these guys with the shields, they'll be made fools out of. I'll make a fool out of you. I still think that era of Disney is the best in terms of quality. Just 1989 to 1999 or 2000. And then there's also Pinocchio, but that came out in 1940. <laughs> still a good movie though. Speaking of remakes, those are just movies you don't remake, like what the hell? Especially in live action, like what are you doing Disney? What are you doing? Well, the 
Jungle Book remake was at least somewhat decent, but still, everything else was just... What? You don't beat the classics, it's not worth it. Especially when you don't try. You gotta try. Just like Resident Evil 4 Remake. <laughs> this game is the perfect example of a good remake. But it is missing a few things from the original. Like the U3 fight. <laughs> okay, I didn't like the U3 fight in the original, but I would have liked it in the remake to see what they would have done with it. With the fight, that is. But they scrapped it for some reason. I'm not sure if they're trying to save it up for Ada's campaign or what, but there's no U3 here. It is not here. And yes, I will be doing Ada's campaign sometime in the future. Just don't know when yet. Might be for Halloween, might not be for Halloween. You just have to wait and see. Not gonna spoil anything. <laughs> But no, seriously, I am excited for the Separate Ways DLC coming out. It took Capcom how long? This game came out in March, so around seven or eight months. Right around the holiday season, I'll tell you that much. And I say that like it's Christmas. I, I count Halloween as the holiday season, too. Halloween deserves love, okay? God damn it. Everybody likes to blow their load about Thanksgiving because they can gorge themselves. Which is nice, but... You can eat any time. <laughs> and Christmas is, um... Well, I love Christmas. I can't say anything bad about Christmas. I'm not a Grinch. I'm only a Grinch when it comes to Valentine's Day. And apparently Thanksgiving. Even though I like Thanksgiving too, don't get me wrong. Let's see, where do we go from here? Okay, that was rude of you, fork-headed prick. I got another brute in the area. I'm saying this like there was another brute in this particular area, but now it's only one, but still. <laughs> Come on, shoot your gun. Okay, never mind. Oh, there's more of them. Of course there'd be more of them. I think I'm out of magnum ammo too. I'm, I'm kind of fucked. So what I'm gonna do, because I think there's an explosive barrel downstairs, so I'm gonna try and lure those guys over to the explosive barrel so I can take them out. And I also have my one last grenade, so let me use it to get a little bit of distance between these guys. There we go. Here's the barrel. I never thought I'd be happy to see an explosive barrel, but never mind that. Let me use it to my advantage. Come on, come on guys, I need more of you- Oh great, the face hugger's back. Uh, okay, just blow it up. Oh! oh, okay, I wasn't expecting you there again. D just destroy everything, destroy all humans. I have yet to actually play the remake and the remake sequel of <laughs> Destroy All Humans, I need to get on that. I need to get on that. I, I thought I just blew up the gun, what the hell, you're using it again? Get out of my sight, please. Oh, good lord, this this part actually sucks. He's still alive, what the hell? And now he's not, thank god. Now I can deal with the other creatures too, and the other Ganados, and the other stuff. It's just so much stuff here. Hey, you dead? Or are you? Oh no, it's the instant kill guy, of course. Oh, this guy is going to soak up a ton of my bullets. This part right here can go die in a fire. As well as this enemy. Holy crap, how many bullets. Even the ultimate pistol tickles him. I'm not even kidding. The Killer 7 does very little damage from what it looks like. It's either that or the Plagueis has that much health. I had to run around for three minutes just trying to kill the damn thing. Come on, give me a death animation or something. There we go. And it took the pissy pistol to take him down. Okay, that was probably the hardest part of the game. 
It's mostly because the enemies are just tanky as fuck now. You're better off just going around them. But sometimes you can't go around them because, well, they're blocking the entrance. And also, sometimes the entrance is booby-trapped as well. So you have to do a whole bunch of weaving in and out in order to not get hit. Which may have worked in the original Resident Evil 4, but not quite this remake. You have to be a bit more... I wouldn't say strategic or methodical, but a bit more careful about your movement here. Leon's movement is a bit more stiff, if you can believe it or not, so you have to take that into account. Anyway, you want to turn this gun away from the entrance because if you go over there while the gun is facing that direction, you're in for a rude awakening. A rude awakening in hell. If you can even wake up in hell, that is. But anyway, there's nothing left standing between me and Ashley. Except for Sattler. But of course we're gonna take him out next. But we're gonna get to Ashley and I'll let this cutscene play out. Or rather, a cutscene and then a... Last of Us style walking simulator? What the hell? <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. And I'll see you for the finale of Resident Evil 4 Remake. You have come, my child. What do you want? I simply wish to share this gift with as many as possible. A humble wish, don't you think? You see, we are all connected through the holy body. And now your flesh and bones, your very thoughts, are already one with us. Bullshit. Why do you reject serenity when you need only accept the sacred gift? Like she did. <laughs> ah, yes, the time has come for this lamb to join our covenant. Oh, blessings unto him and the sweet mercy they bring. Exalt, all, and let it be done. <laughs>
Like I told you, I'm gonna get you home safe.